Wherefore art thou my newly found happiness? Since our first encounter, my thoughts have never left thee once, but followed thee in pursuit, like a stalker, always hungry for more of her desired addiction. You spoke of love that was supposed to have flowed from the Duke's barren heart, but instead cascaded from your own heart to wash away the sad memory of my late spouse and give birth to my new beginning. Your presence before mine eyes was indeed a heavenly present sent to me from above and a divine signal for me to remove the veil from my face, to embrace the youthfulness and warmth of life again. Oh, what a wonderful thought it is, to be so lucky to have rediscovered the lost love in my heart, to be able to smell the roses again and inhale the sweet radiance of the wind, listen to the rustling of green foliage in my garden. How I long for thy vision before mine eyes, to touch and feel the essence of beauty in my arms. Caesarea, eternal flame of my destiny, and the sunset at the end of my dark despair. Leave thy master and run away with me. Together we shall dwell in the paradise of my love for thee, a love that is unconditional and only entrusted to thee and no one else, for I care not to set my sight on no other man but thee. With thee living so near to me in my very head, I feel as though your spirit is trapped in my body, and I am no longer myself, but have become merged with thee into one. I am thee, and thee are me. We are you, and you are me. Looking out on the morning rain, I used to feel all inspired. And when I knew I had to face another day, Lord, it made me feel so tired. Before the day I met you, life was so unkind, but your love was the key to my peace of mind, cause you make me feel, you make me feel, you make me feel like a natural. 